Welcome back to That's Major Podcast, where tonight we have a special guest, Frankie Strong. Let me tell you, she is a businesswoman. She's an entrepreneur. She is a godly woman, very successful. It's very special um, that she's coming here tonight to discuss the top reasons not to settle because when you think of a definition of independence, strong, beautiful, black woman, very, again, successful, uh, she's definitely the person to talk to. So I'm glad to have her here so we can discuss uh, what are those reasons not to settle that we came up with. And we're just gonna elaborate on it. Um, Frankie, to start off, I guess, let's tell them what is settling. I define settling as when your wants, needs, or your expectations are not being met, but yet you find a reason to stay in the situation. Yes, yes. Okay. So with that being said, now that you know the definition of what settling is, we're going to go with those reasons that we came up with of why you should not. Um, I guess we're going to talk about it. So the first one I have is satisfaction over contempt. What do you think about that? What do you have to tell the audience about that? Satis- uh, to be satisfied and then just to be content. Um, to me, when you're just content content with something or just selling for something, you're not really satisfied. You're just dealing with it. You're putting up with it because you feel like you can't do better. But when you're really satisfied, that means all of your needs, your wants, and your expectations are being met. I agree. And... That doesn't mean you can't grow together, you know, but everything that, like you said, that you need, it yes. will be met. Okay. And we're going to kind of go into the growth part. Um, growing for me with that partner, you you want somebody that's going to always take you to the next level and you want to go there together. So if you're not growing and there's no growth there, then that is settling, right? I would think so because... Um you always want to be able to grow in a relationship. Even if y'all don't start at the same point, you want to be striving to get to a higher point together. And a lot of people do settle uh, because for different reasons, for being late, some lazy, some just don't want to put push forth the effort. Or, or if you're in a relationship as a woman and you see your man has a goal, you should strive to push him to get to that goal and y'all should get to that goal together. Yes, I like how you said that. Um, another reason is for companion or just being lonely. And people do settle because they're lonely, but I would say never settle because you're lonely. Um, and I've seen people go back to previous relationship out of, due to loneliness, but, um, and that could come from various reasons from just, uh, familiarity, from just being just not want to wait so you just settle because you just want somebody to be with but you should never just settle just to have someone to be with just due to loneliness you should always date or marry for a goal or for a purpose and loneliness is not a purpose I agree I agree oh and it's real good um <laughs> and I noticed and I'm, I guess I'm going to speak on experience. Mm-hmm. Um, women, after you be single for so long, is when kind of like that loneliness kick in. And then instead of, it's like we find reasons to bend the rules or bend. Like, we know what we want. You want yes. to know what you want, right? You want to set those standards. You want, you know, and we usually have that. But then after so long, like you said, they go back to the previous guy or they deal with things that they just shouldn't be dealing with. And I think at a certain age, every woman probably has dealt with that, where you went back just from familiarity due to loneliness or whatever. But as you grow and mature, then you should start dating for purpose or to reach a certain goal in life. And just settling just because you're lonely, that could be like one of the biggest, to me, one of the worst mistakes you could ever make. Yes. See, this is why we have you here tonight. (laughs) Full of wisdom. I love it. (laughs) Glad to be here. And I want to go to um, the heartbreak and money. Let's put those together. Okay. Why should you not settle for money or heartbreak? Heartbreak will cause you to probably uh, cause a lot of women that I've seen that I know of like to settle or just the next man that, that just crossed their path they seem to settle with that man just because they're going through something. They've been hurt 
or they're trying to heal their wounds through another person, which that never works. You really, after a heartbreak, you really should take time to yourself, even though a lot of people don't want to go to take the time to, uh, to heal because they're crying, they're lonely, they're hurting, and they want someone there to, they want someone there to like banish them, to banish the wound. It, well, that person, but then after you heal, that person you settle for just to heal you, then once you heal, that you'll find out that's not even your person. You was only with that person because you needed that person to heal you. I agree. Um, like, how long does someone take from heartbreak to heal before they either? Because, you know, it's the saying that says, you know, um, they say, get out, you know, you get to the next person to help you get over your ass. And I think it's some new rap, some new slang or something with young people that think, like, you know, you get another one to help you get over. But how much time should you really take? Well, that to, to me is not a certain time frame because everyone is different. It might take me six months to heal, it might take you six years to heal. So everyone is different. It just depends on how you go about healing yourself and how you go through it. Do you pray? You have to pray to get through hurt because like God Absolutely. really is the only person that can heal you. What are you doing during that time that you're trying to heal? Are you working on yourself? Are you making yourself better? Or are you just sitting there feeling sorry for what you're going through? So if you're a person that sits there and you, you, you choose, you can either choose to be happy or you can choose to sit there and cry and go through the pain. So you have to, it just depends on your frame of thinking. How do you, uh, how do you take it? I'm going, some people sit there, they go, they, they make themselves depressed. They go through depression or are you the type you'd be like, okay, I, yeah, I lay there and cry there too, but hey, I'm going to get up, shake it off. And then, hey, I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to get my bag up. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to work out. I'm going to make myself feel better. And then, hey, I'm going to, you shake it off. And you, you have to wear people loosely where you can shake them off. And then you move on. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to also say, you want to also be protective of yourself during mm -hmm. that time because it is a mindset. Everything you said is basically mm -hmm. the mindset of wanting to want better. So no, right. going to someone else is not going to help you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, move forward or move in a healthy relationship. Like nine out of 10, you're going mm -hmm. to end up settling. You want to, and I'm just speaking from experience and people I have seen. Right. A lot of times when you're still hurting and stuff, you overlook the red flags. Mm -hmm. And then you can cause yourself more heartache by and, trying to use something. And a lot of over. people see, well, I'm, some people do overlook the red flags, but a lot of people see the red flags. They just ignore them because they want, mm. they want that, per, they want somebody in their life. They don't, some people can't be alone. Mm-hmm. And you'll find some people like they won't take the time to heal. They won't take, they'd rather settle than to take the time to heal and be alone because some people in this, and it come from insecurities. It come from whatever background they come from. But the best thing to do is just be alone. Take that time to find out who you are. Why did I go through this? So I won't go through it with the next relationship. What do I really want? Uh, for me, I've been in a bad relationship, but instead of, sobbing in it I look at it like okay what did I learn from this relationship mm -hmm. okay it taught me that I don't this is not what I want so when I do decide to talk to someone else if that person show those attributes I'm not going to even waste the time because you have the same attributes as this person had and that's not what I want right yeah. and and you want to also know yourself that's right what, that's exactly. basically what you said no mm -hmm. you take time to get to right. know what you mm -hmm. like what you don't like exactly. what you learn from the previous mm -hmm. relationship so you can move forward right I like that um insecurities insecurities I think it's a big one insecurities yes insecurities will cause women to settle well women and men to settle because they feel like they can't do better. They feel like, um, well, this man like me, I might as well talk to him because nobody else is going to want me. Uh, and they can feel insecurities for certain reasons. They can feel insecurities because of their features, their, um, the beauty or because of the, their body types. Um, they can feel insecurities um, for something simple as the, the hair. They can feel insecurities because um, of their finances uh, or just because of their past experiences or how they were raised or they feel like this person is better than I am because they was raised on this side of town and I was raised over here. But to me, that has nothing to do with who's 
because no who's better or who's you know mm-hmm. worse so people are insecure for a lot of reasons but insecurities will have people to settle for those reasons and you don't want to settle at no. all this is the whole point of this show do mm-hmm. not settle mm-hmm. and another thing that was important that you said you know people will because a guy like them and they'll talk to him. You don't mm-hmm. have to talk to every guy that likes exactly, you. Exactly, exactly. You do not. Mm-hmm. You have the choice. Like, set those boundaries. Mm-hmm. Set those standards. Mm-hmm. You know, know that what you will and would not do. I know for me, I was telling you before, you know, I had to set standards. And some of the small standards I had was, okay, if I have a job car in a house, he needs to at least have that. Exactly. I don't care how mm-hmm. cute he was. If he didn't have that, no, you cannot have my number. No, you know, right. we, mm-hmm. nothing we can do. It's nothing. I'm mm-hmm. trying to keep moving exactly. So. Yeah, so that goes into you having to having to know what you want. Mm-hmm. So you have to know yourself. So you have to know what you want instead yes. of selling for something less. Mm-hmm. And I can say it works because yeah. I got married. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> I got married. I'm a newlywed. We celebrated one year anniversary. So. I can say that setting those standards, knowing yourself, knowing what you will tolerate, what you won't tolerate, what you like, what you don't like, Mm -hmm. um, taking that time for yourself, again, it doesn't really have a time frame because exactly I know I had when I it's like when I made my mind up and I just told God, like, God, just work on me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just going to focus on you. When I made that decision, it seemed like God allowed me to run across me, cross paths. So beautiful. uh, Definitely, you know, know yourself and and don't talk to everybody just because Mm -hmm. they like you. Don't do that. Right. Um, And familiarity. That's like right. Yes. (laughs) And people settle for familiarity. You would see people be in a relationship that was very toxic, very toxic. They know that person is not good for them. That person know as well that they're not good for each other, but just because they are familiar with each other and those familiar spirits, they would still settle and go back to that person. Even though, like I said, they had a horrible relationship, very toxic, always fighting, always something, couldn't get along. And so familiarity will have you to settle sometimes even though the rela- you know the relationship right. was toxic. Both of you know the relationship was toxic, but, but still, because y'all are so familiar with each other and those spirits connect with mm-hmm. each other and because y'all were sexual and, the, and it's, when you are sexual, it's just not physical, it's spiritual as well. So you have a, like a spiritual, spiritual connection, whether it's good or bad, and you have that physical connection. And even though everything else besides outside the sex, Everything else in your relationship is horrible. But because y'all are so familiar with each other, those spirits will reconnect. And sometimes you will just settle because of the familiarity with each other. And another thing that I'm hearing that you're saying is basically... Uh, familiar spirits and soul ties yeah i think it's more important i mean it happens for men and women mm-hmm. right yeah but i think for women because we're internal we're enter into it's mm-hmm. we have to be very careful yes. about what we allow to enter us yeah as far as our spirit and then right. i want to also say when you find yourself you know you mm-hmm. we i think you met women i know i have mm-hmm. that say you know this guy was just like that guy and this guy was like mm-hmm. that when you find yourself in those type of relationships Mm -hmm. that's a familiar spirit that's when you need to take time and take steps back what do I need to learn what do Mm -hmm. I need to do different why do I keep attracting this type of person in my life because that you have that spirit and those of the spirit connects with you because they have that same spirit Mm -hmm. so if they have the same spirit as you have y'all connect that that's why the same type of people just in a different body keep right, coming to you because right. that spirit is connecting with that spirit that you have it's a different face different yeah. body same spirit mm-hmm. so that's why it's important mm-hmm. to take time for so, yourself yes so is there, if you keep on running into that same spirit that lets you know you need to take time to yourself mm-hmm. you need to be delivered from that spirit that's good and you need to pray and seek god yes. to deliver you so that you know you need to you need to be delivered from that spirit Mm -hmm. and that way you don't have that same spirit trying to come enter into you again yes and we're christians so of course we believe in god of course Um, i love jesus i mean i say Mm -hmm. it almost every podcast and the way that you deal with those things like she said you want to pray you want to seek god Mm -hmm. god if you go to god first He's going to give you everything that you need. And some of the ways that you can find, like she said, you know, you find yourself in those same, same people, different right. bodies. Mm-hmm. 
you definitely want to take time with yourself. Exactly. Um, I can't stress that enough for mm-hmm. the ladies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I agree. Um, worth. Your worth. You have to know your worth. And a lot of women, not just women, but men, don't know their worth. So that would cause them to, to settle. Um, I would have to admit that I have settled in the past. I won't settle now because I know my worth. I know who I am. I know what I want. In the past, I have dated just to just because that's what people done. Let's date, okay? But now I won't do that because I'm I'm a purpose driven person. Mm-hmm. So I know what I want. So if I date you, it's for a purpose. And so um, you have to know what you want and don't settle for it. Um, if I wanted to settle right now, I could be married I could have been married yesterday today I have guys yes. now that would marry me yes. but I know that's not the purpose that's that wouldn't be a true purpose I would be settling so of course I'm not going to do that because I don't want to settle I know what I want I know what I'm looking forward to um I need someone that can match mm-hmm. my energy to commit me financially and even you might not make six figures or make might not be able to do but at least be able to do for me something that I do for myself, Mm -hmm. you know? So, but you just got to know what you want um, and just don't settle. And when it comes to words, I think, um, at least for me, I know Mm -hmm. it took some time Mm -hmm. to learn my own words. Right. And I, you know, people used to be like, you're so pretty, you're so Mm -hmm. this. And there was a time I really looked in the mirror and didn't see that. Mm -hmm. And because I felt that way, I chose the wrong men. I dealt with right. the wrong men. Mm-hmm. I had no business dealing with them exactly. because I didn't know. But mm-hmm. once you know their word, you know what you will accept. You know what you deserve. Know what you deserve. Right. I guess that's what I'm trying mm-hmm. to say. Right. Know what Exa- you deserve. Exactly. And a lot of women don't know what they deserve because they. it could be generational things. Mm, They've seen their sister go through this. They've seen their mom go through this. They've seen their grandmother go through this. So they just assume, okay, this is what I go through. This is what I deal with because they don't know their worth. Um, You have, I've seen beautiful women just, you know, get drugged down by Mm -hmm. bombs on the street because they didn't know who they were. Like in the younger life, they could have got caught up on drugs or whatever for what, you know, somebody introduced them to this or they seen they parents do drugs or they seen their parents prostitute so they just felt like okay this is what I do but then when they got old enough to know better they uh, they were they didn't really they didn't know they worth then but then just because you didn't know your worth then don't mean that you can't mature mature and learn what your worth is so don't just settle because you came from this background or that background or you feel like I'm not worthy of this worthy of that we all are, wor- are worthy of whatever we expect mm-hmm so if That's you're, good. it's all about what you expect to see and uh, what you desire. Uh, so if you don't expect better or expect a man to treat you as your worth, then you won't get that. But if you set your boundaries and your standards, and I don't care who the man is, you know, your worth is your worth. Who determines your worth? Not the man. You determine your yeah, own you worth. Mm-hmm. So yeah, That's good. That is real good. Um, and I got some like pointers here. So okay. I kind of want to speak to, because we're talking about words and not selling. Mm-hmm. And a lot of this go on today. You got the women who are doing great, got great jobs, yet they letting this guy come and use their car, drop them off at work. Mm-hmm. They drive the car all day, might bring it back with no gas. I don't know. You know, mm-hmm. I'm just assuming with no gas or nothing. Um, it's kind of like what you said, those patterns or what they may saw or this and mm-hmm. that, you have to set those expectations. Exactly. Don't mm-hmm. settle for that. Don't mm-hmm. allow, like, people can only do to you what you allow them to do. And a lot of times, uh, women allow men to do things like that, but that goes back to one point we talked about the insecurities. Mm-hmm. Um, they just feel like I can't do any better. Um, I'm not the best looking woman or I'm not the finest woman. I really don't have that much money. So if this guy want to talk to me, I'm just going to settle for that. Even if he doesn't have a job, even though I know this is, I want more than this, but I'm going to settle for this because I don't really feel like I'm going to get more than this. So if he want to just drop me off at work, keep my car, it cash my check, put gas in it and use my children food stamps and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go for this because, um, 
this is the only type of guy that is approaching me, so I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna settle for this because I don't see me getting a man with a six-figure uh, job or a man that can provide a car for me, so I'm just gonna let him use my car. So it all goes back to insecurities and not knowing your worth. And mindset. Mm -hmm. The mindset. Yes, yes. All, everything that we're telling our audience tonight is based on your mindset. What you think about you, mm -hmm. what you feel about you, what do you want right. for yourself? Mm -hmm. And to get away, I mean, one thing you want to do is remove all the toxic, whether it's within yourself, because mm -hmm. sometimes we have toxic oh, behaviors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like we said, you'll choose mm -hmm. to say, so you want to work on yourself. The way you can do that, mm -hmm. see God. See God, put him first, or whatever your higher power is. You know, mm -hmm. some people may not believe. I'm just saying he works, it works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you don't believe, but whatever your higher power is. Put that first. Make that the foundation when mm -hmm. you're meeting somebody right. new. Mm -hmm. But definitely start that own relationship mm -hmm. with your high power, mm -hmm. with God. For me, I love Jesus. He it helped yes, me. Yes, of course. Always. He helped yeah. me. So mm -hmm. get rid of that toxic. It's the mindset. Mm -hmm. I think. I mean, did you have some other pointers? or Because we, we kind of cover a lot. I would just tell all the women, no matter what, always put yourself first. Just know that you know your value. Know that you are a prize. Don't settle. Uh, like I said, I could be married now if I wanted to, but I would be settling. So that's not what I choose to do. You find out what your purpose is in life. What is your destiny in life? And date for that purpose. Date for where you're trying to go, not where you are. Mm -hmm. Because if you're dating to, for where you are now, you're settling because you need somebody that can that's gonna be able to go with you for what you, where you're trying to go. So look, just look at where I'm trying to go. What are your goals? And find somebody that can help you meet those goals and that somebody you can help them meet their goals. Somebody that's willing to work with you where y'all can grow together and not so neither one of you would be selling. So just know your worth, know what you want and a date for purpose and not just for fun, just to be doing something because that's what we do now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With no purpose. No purpose. Nothing. You just, just do whatever, just whatever comes through, through, you just go with the flow. See, and a lot of people go with the flow. Why are you going with the flow? What is your purpose? Follow your purpose, follow your dreams. And then that way you won't be selling and you won't end up heartbroken. And you, you just, you know, you get what you want in life. So that meant, so something came to my mind. I know we didn't talk about this, but so the money part, right? Mm -hmm. So much of that is going on these days. Mm -hmm. um, are you familiar with P Diddy and the young Miami girl that's together? No, I'm I, not. I, no. Okay, so let me tell you. Okay, you have this man who is, you know, P Diddy's been known. Yeah, I know the P. young Diddy, girl. Yeah. She's one of the new, one of the newer rappers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know. They're not really in a relationship. But they in a relationship, like she situationship. They in a situationship, okay. like she says they like in, mm -hmm. during the time she'll say that that's her man, this and that. But he'd have had a baby on her. He has uh, been seen with different women, this and that. But yet, you know, she Carissa or Young Miami, whichever mm -hmm. one you want to call her real name mm -hmm. or the rap name, she deals with that. I guess because of the money he gives, because that's what she raps about about what he doing, this and that. Mm -hmm. I don't. How do you feel about that? I don't think that we should settle for money just because he does or buy you this or this mm -hmm. and that. At the end of the day, as time goes by, I think she's still going to want somebody there beside her. She's not going to want to share. Exactly. I would think so as well. Um, some people, like it goes back to knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing what you want. What you want. You're going to have those women that really don't care about the treatment that they get from the men um, to them. That's what they want. They want the money. You, you're going to have those type of women, um, whether they're lonely at night because, you know, you're with this man that belongs to somebody else or they, you know, but if that's what they want, the money, some women just date for money. Um, me personally, I wouldn't want to just date for money because to me, there's, there's so much more to life than just money. If it was just money, I can get out and work and get my own money. But what about the relationship what what else do we have beside the money and so, yeah that goes back um transactional their their relationship is transactional so you know i'm you give me what i want i'm gonna give you what you want yes but uh but where's are we what goals are we meeting with that and i, I guess maybe 
if you're young or something, maybe want to mm-hmm. have fun, mm-hmm. maybe. I mean, I wouldn't encourage it. Right. Because, you, and then kind of go back to what you were saying as far as the familiar spirit, the mm-hmm. soul ties. We are women. We get entered. So there's going to be something, no matter what kind of uh, situation that you agree to, you're going to get attached it's, in some it, type of way. It is. You might start the relationship off, and I know women that have done this, um, Y'all start off as friends with benefits, mm-hmm. as they call it. But it's not, I don't think it's possible for a man and woman to have friends, to be friends with benefit for a long extended period of time and not catch feelings. That's that true. might be our agreement in the beginning. Hey, this this is what it is with friends with benefits. You know, you need something, I got you. You know, when I come through, you got me, whatever. But because of the soul ties, when you're sexually with somebody, Eventually, you're going to catch feelings. You might not catch feelings as quick as the man or the vice, or vice versa, but you're both going to catch feelings. Mm-hmm. And then over an extended period of time, you both are going to have feelings. And then somewhere down the road, a problem is going to occur because you gonna, even though I don't owe you anything because we are not in a so-called relationship, we're in a friends with benefit mm-hmm. uh, situationship. So it's like, I really don't owe you anything because I'm not required to only be with you because Mm -hmm. we have you know we we got to understand that we're friends with benefit but after you grow those feelings grow and i see you with somebody or you see me with somebody else out somewhere down the line one of us gonna act out it's it's gonna cause a problem you know what i'm saying it's just Mm -hmm. he might act out the one uh, i might act out somebody's gonna it's gonna be some problems (laughs) down the road so it's no way to be sexually active with somebody for an extended period of time and not catch feelings. I agree. So I was just going to say, all of those are really great. These are great keys to take with you to not settle in life, to not get caught up in... Because what we, our goal here tonight is just have women to keep progressing, yes. to be the best that version of mm-hmm. yourself, to love yourself, to have those st- set standards. Mm-hmm. I can't stress that enough. Yes. Set those standards, know yourself, I mean, that's what I'm hearing. The words of Miss Frankie Strong, words of wisdom. Take them, take these keys and learn from them. And one other thing I wanted to mention that we didn't talk about, um, well, we hit on it a little bit, but just like the both of us, we have kids. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you met Major and whatever, and like whoever I choose, besides choosing God, the next most important thing would be is your spouse. Because your spouse has everything to do with either your rising or your downfall. So it's like, but you want to choose a man as a single mom. You want to choose a man that can be a father to your kids. Mm -hmm. Someone that your kids can look up to. uh, Someone that can be a parent just like you are. You don't want someone that's another big kid with your kids. You know what I'm saying? So then add it to to your Mm -hmm. boys to raise because you're raising another boy. You know, so, so you really want to find a father figure and of someone that can lead not only you, but your kids as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Because, you're, and, and no matter what age they are. Neither, exactly, right. You want mm-hmm. them to be that example for yeah. them. Yeah, especially if they're older, mm-hmm. like, and our kids are older. So right. you need a, a, a true alpha male figure that can lead your kids, especially yes. your boys. Yes, so you right. don't want your boys looking up to a boy Mm -hmm. because they have nothing they they have no guide they have nothing to go by so you got to make sure that you're choosing the right man not only for you but for your kids as well and I can do for me it was it was like I don't want to feel like I was talking to my children right I don't want to have to ask a man if you see the the trash beside my door right the dumpster's right Mm -hmm. there why am I asking you when you leave Mm -hmm. to take that to the dumpster Mm -hmm. I gotta ask my sons that like little stuff I have to tell my children Mm -hmm. that's how you can identify whether you're dealing with Mm -hmm. a boy or a man I mean one way Right. If you find yourself talking mm-hmm. to them like you talk to your children, that's probably not the man for you. And just like if a struggling mom, sometimes your kids might come and say, Mom, uh, why is no food in the refrigerator? Why We don't have nothing to eat. Or, Mom, uh, the lights are off. You, As a wife, or as, even if you're not married, just as a woman, period, you don't want to be asking the man, Baby, why the lights off? Mm-hmm. Baby, why we don't have groceries in the house? Mm-hmm. You don't want to go to bed worried when I get up in the morning, are the lights going to be off? Or will you go, you don't want to be worried when you, when I get up in the morning, is a eviction notice going to be on the door? 
you want to be feel secure, you yeah. know. So you yeah. want to know that you're married to a provider, one that's going. If he have to work two jobs to provide, that's what he's going to do because mm-hmm. he's going to make sure that your lights are on. He's going to make sure you don't have an eviction note on the door. He's going to make sure food is in the refrigerator for you and your kids. Yes. So yes. you have to make sure. Um, that you you know that you're choosing that alpha man and at the same time you have to put yourself in a position to be that feminine woman to make that man want to provide men love feminine women so you have to you know um but even at the same time you can get your point across without you yeah it's something you could be feminine like about like baby um i felt uh i felt you wrong me when you did this is this, this. Mm-hmm. let's talk about it so even though you can get your point across even in a feminine way so just like i say be feminine choose an alpha male that can provide and that's exactly what you want to do mm-hmm. because i know and i'm just going to speak on experience for mm-hmm. me I had to be that provider for these children. Mm-hmm. I had these kids depending on me, and I have all of right. these. I got to make sure the bills mm-hmm. and stuff. So for me, when I got with my husband, mm-hmm. it was more of I can breathe. Right. I don't have to care mm-hmm. about this, and right. you want that. You mm-hmm. want that part. And then I'm, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> You're absolutely right when you're talking about the feminine energy, mm-hmm. because there were times there would be times where I might just snap back or go, mm-hmm. you know, go off when he's telling me, and that's and I might be my point of view might be actually correct, mm-hmm. but he can't see it right because of the way I responded. Right, I had to learn like How okay, mm-hmm. what, what's the what's the very soft a soft. Uh, what is it? Soft, soft word, turn around, right, right. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's it. So. I had to learn it. Mm-hmm. I had to learn to be quiet, to give more, and I'm mm-hmm. still learning. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I have to. And that's be quiet. that's not just you. That's a, that's even me. Like uh, I know I can be real, you know. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I know that it would take a real alpha male to make me be feminine. Mm-hmm. And any real woman is going to be feminine in a ways around an alpha male. Now, if you're a man, and through experience, because I, I, I've done it, I'm guilty of it. If I know you just a playboy, or whatever. I'm not going to respect you because mm-hmm. first of all, I don't respect you because you don't respect yourself. Second of all, I don't respect you because what can you do for me that I can't do for myself? Mm-hmm. That, and, thir- and, yes. and I'm not saying, yes. yeah, I, I make six figures or more a year, but I'm not saying that this man has to make that, but he has to be able to know how to, even if you only make 50, 60,000 a year, you have to be able to know how to manage your money where you can provide. Don't just blow it. You know, if you make, cause men can make six figures, but blow it all. Mm-hmm. You don't pay bills. Some men just don't pay bills. I'm not going to respect that. If you don't make but 30,000 a year, but you're making sure the bills are paid, I'm going to respect that. You know what I'm saying? That's but good. at the same time, I need to know before I submit to you, I'm not going to submit to you if you if you're not an alpha male. That's right. just I mean because that's me. Like you know you got to be able to stand your ground with me, or I'm gonna just be like, Ugh. you know mm-hmm. I'm gonna get my point across, you know. But if I know that you're a real man, I'm gonna just automatically uh, submit to you anyway. So but you so you have to. It's all about how the man present himself. You know, are you a real man, or are you a playboy? Are you here for business? Are you here for play? I mean, are you just here? just for pleasure yeah. so it's all about the how the man carry himself as well yeah and and the real man will make you want to be it's, exactly family. you know what yeah I'm saying? because yeah. just it's just it's just in our nature in a way as a woman to be nurturing to be caring to submit that's that's what we want to do but if that man does not do play his part then we have no other choice but let the other side come out of us because we have to make sure things are flowing and make things make sure things are going right mm-hmm. but if you got a man there that's doing the job that's doing what he's supposed to do where you can relax and be like okay and put you back in your feminine energy that's going to be your first choice yes because that's just the way we're born because no woman wants a man that they can run over exactly no one you know, any other wisdom <laughs> That's all I have for tonight. But anytime you want me back, I'll come. And we would definitely be having Miss Frankie Strong back here to discuss other topics. We hope you got some takeaways. If nothing else, um, learn yourself. Learn yourself and seek God. Yes. God have is always standards. first. Yes. And have those standards. Mm-hmm. Um, we're talking about 
independent women and she's telling you this from a point of being that type of woman and she's still telling you to submit to be loving mm -hmm. be caring love on yourself know what you want and guys you know step up be alphas don't be no woman wants a man they can run over and that's what we have that's and, gonna be major that's that <laughs> thanks for having me You're welcome